What's up you guys? It's Julia here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video. I'm going to be reacting to my weird DMs again. <laughs> I did this a few months ago and I got a lot of good feedback from it. You guys seem to really like it and so many of you guys have been asking me to do another one. So here I am. I'm just gonna go jump in the video. Um, before I get into the video, um, <laughs> My 2020 calendar is currently still available, so if you want to get one, then it will be linked in the description box down below, so definitely go check it out. Before I get into the video, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and turn on my post notifications, so that way you don't miss any of my new uploads. Okay, so I'm just gonna go jump into the weird DMs. Since this video is so highly requested, I have been screenshotting every single weird DM, comment, email, everything that I've been getting since I uploaded my last video, so there's lots of stuff to go through. I definitely will not be including all of it in this video just because some of it's a little bit too much and there's just a lot of stuff and I want this video to not be like an hour long, so yeah. Okay, so someone says, tell me, do you have a remote or a button in your navel to pump up your boobs with helium, milk, or machine gun bullets? And then he sends like a smiley emoji. Like, as if it's just like a casual question to ask. Like, someone commented on one of my pictures saying, can I carry your babies? Um, I mean, usually that's what the girls do, but like, I, don't, I don't think you physically can. <laughs> someone says, I love, hi, you are so beautiful. I want to lick your armpits and smell, I love. Someone commented on one of my pictures saying, my plans are to come on my phone screen with this image open. Awooga, boing boing boing. Like, are people okay? Is this guy okay? I just don't understand what goes on in people's minds when they decide to comment these things, especially comments, because like messengers are private, but comments, like anyone can see them. I just don't get it. Someone says, lol, I have a penis. Hello, titty video. Like, does this work? Like, does he think I'm gonna respond with an actual video of my boobs? Like, does this work for anyone? I'm really curious to know because I feel like I get a lot of messages like this and I'm definitely not the only one. Does it ever work? I wanna know. It also looks like his wife or girlfriend is in his profile picture, so, um, <laughs> don't make me message her. <laughs> Someone says, and he has commented on all my stuff before. Um, <laughs> he says, I have this disease where I can only survive if I drink breast milk. So I was wondering if you could give me some. If you don't do it, I will die. Preferably, I would suckle from your teeth. And then he put in brackets, wah wah. Or you could send me it bottled. We'll pay for either service. My life is in your hands or breasts rather. Like, what is going on in this guy's mind? Could you imagine like writing this whole like elaborate like reason on why you need someone's breast milk? I feel like, I don't even know if guys just say it for fun or if they're just like dumb, but girls don't lactate unless they have a baby. And I do not have a baby. Do you guys really think that? Someone tell me, do you really think that all women just constantly have milk in their boobs? Someone says, I love your feet soles more than anything. And then sent a mad face. Like they're angry about it. They're like, oh, I love it more than anything. Someone says, I look at your profile. You look so beautiful to me. I think your boobs nipple light will be brown. Can you show them please? Like, first of all, you're gonna message me and call me beautiful, but then you're gonna be like, hey, like this is what color I think your nipple is. Like, can you show me? Like, no. This one guy literally was convinced that I was lying about my age. We had a little conversation. And so I'm currently 19 because my birthday was just on the 7th, but this happened on October 5th, 2019. So I was still 18. He's like, Julia, show me your ID and then I will believe that you are 18 years old. And I was like, lol, why would I lie about my age? And then he's like, because you're doing it. And then I just sent question marks and I was like, I literally just look older. And he said, if you lie for your age, then imagine what other things you may lie about. Do you understand me now? And then he was like, did you have a problem with drugs before? I mean, do you do drugs now? And I was like, no. 
And then he's like, before? And I was like, no. Then he's like, why do you look older then? Something happened to you. And I was like, I literally, like, some people literally just look older than they are. Like, that's so rude to just, like, not believe someone when they tell you how old they are. And then accuse them of, like, having a past with, like, hard drugs or something like that. Like, whoa, like, drugs must have f***ed you up and that's why you look so much older. Like, that's so rude. Like, I literally just look a lot older than I am. People literally tell me I look like I'm 26. I personally don't think I look that old. But I've always just looked older than I am. Like when I was 15 years old, like I had like people who were in their 30s messaging me thinking I was in my 20s. And I was like, no, no, I'm a baby. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't take any growth hormone or something. Like I just, this is just how I look. Someone says that picture is amazing, sweetie. Your armpits are so sexy and they look so smooth. Thank you for that picture. You're welcome. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay, this one just makes me want to barf. He says, I'd like to suck the milk out of your boobs. I like your body and pics and love to smell your used panties I've brought and like your armpits and pee hole. Ew. Like, why did he have to use those words? Or even just, why did he have to say this? Like, you could have kept that to yourself. I don't want to know that you want to smell my used panties and bra and lick my armpits and pee hole. Ugh. I literally hate reading my DMs. I only really read them because some people are really sweet and sometimes brands will reach out to me through DMs, but gosh, I hate getting messages like this. It makes me so uncomfortable. Someone says, I would sing to make a porn video with you. I do it very well, love. I am your fan of sex in Pornhub. I live in Barcelona. I invite you to Barcelona. I love you so much. Tell me something by WhatsApp. Mwah. So many people give me their WhatsApp numbers or they like comment it on my pictures and I'm like, why would you comment your number publicly? Like other people can see that. <laughs> like I don't get it. And like, I don't use WhatsApp ever. Like I don't even have the app. Someone emailed me and he says, hey Julia, I want to marry you. I'm love with you. I just want to marry you, please. Like, I like how it says, like, I just want to marry you. Like, I just want to marry you. Like, it's not even a big deal. Like, it's just marriage. Like, come on. Like, I love you. Like, please. Like, hello. No thanks. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that one. I take a lot of pictures, obviously, because I post, like, every second day, so I just need a lot of, like, content. So, like, I have a lot of pictures of me on my phone, but I also feel like I have a lot of screenshots of, like, messages on my phone like i feel like half of it is pictures of me and the other half is just like messages someone says would you have an affair with me no okay i posted a story of a bath bomb that i was using and someone replied to it and he was like i'll be your bath bomb girl let's run away and get married i'll give you all the bath bombs we can find <laughs> like I don't like bath bombs that much. Like, I love bath bombs. I think they're so much fun, but like, like that's really your pickup line. Like, you're gonna message some girl and be like, hey, like, I'll be your bath bomb. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's just not like a good conversation starter. Like, if you wanna run away and get married with someone, like, don't bribe them with bath bombs. <laughs> I don't know. This guy says, gosh, people are so blunt. Hi, hey, I'm not a pervert or anything. I just want to tell you that I would like to meet you one day and I can make love with you every day. I know that you are a famous girl and that you may never read this, but at least I know I will try. <laughs> like, you know in movies when like this guy's like super awkward and he like doesn't know how to talk to girls? Like, that's like this guy. Like, he could have just been like, hey, like, I was just wondering if you like wanted to go out someday because I think you're really pretty. But he's like, no, like, I'm not a pervert, but like, I want to make love with you every day. Like. <laughs> That's not gonna make me want to respond. I mean, I have a boyfriend, so I wouldn't respond to the other one anyway, but like You would have had a better chance. Okay, this one's not weird. This is just so cute Someone messaged me and they're like I put your channel on play all night when I go to sleep because you have such a nice voice Like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, guys I've gotten so creative when it comes to sending dick pics. I feel like they've started to realize that girls don't really want to see pictures of their dicks, but they are not okay with that. So instead of just like, you know, respecting girls' boundaries and not sending unsolicited pics, they have started lying to get you to open it. So basically this guy messaged me and he says, 
You are so beautiful. I'm thinking of getting my first tattoo, but I'm not sure where to get it. You seem to have an artistic eye. Any thoughts? And then he sent me a picture. And on Instagram, when someone sends you a picture, you have to like tap it to like see it first. And of course, you can probably guess what it was. It wasn't tattoo ideas, that's for sure. Right, Magnus? Yeah. And this is not the first time someone has done this. If you do that, I'm just gonna tell you right now. If you decide to do that, I will block you, okay? It, whenever I receive dick pics, I immediately block. So if you don't wanna get blocked, you know what not to do. Magnus is usually hyper while I film, but he's in one of his cuddly moods. He's actually such a sweetheart. Say hi to your fans. Your fans love you. They think you should have your own YouTube channel. Do you want to have your own YouTube channel? Okay, I got an email and it literally just says boob e. So yeah, like same. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Someone messaged me and says, "Hi, do you do nip slip pick?" I've never heard that before. Like, I get asked for nudes all the time, but I've never heard someone say nip slip pick. That's a new one for me. I just thought it was funny the way it was parted. Honestly, it's not that creepy, it's just funny. Okay, someone literally commented on all my picture, like, publicly, and he said, I will marry and have a baby with you soon. Like, no. No, you won't. <laughs> People are freaking weird. People are so weird. I just don't get it. Could you imagine commenting on someone's picture? Could you imagine? I couldn't. It's like I'm hesitant to put some of these in here because I don't want my video to get demonetized but some of these are like very like sexual so I'm hesitant to like put it in. I might just bleep a lot of it out. I don't know. Someone says hello if you're taller than five foot six please do reply back. Thanks. Like what? <laughs> I'm curious to know as to why he wanted someone taller than five foot six. Because I'm only five foot three, so of course I didn't respond to this guy. I don't know, that just- <laughs> I was just so confused when I read this. I was like, okay, well, you're not getting a reply then, because I'm too short for your standards, so. Someone says, hi, I- My dick is a whole nine inches. Please, isuk- I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's a different language or a spelling error. You can say suck. But like, gosh, people are just so blunt. It's like, hey, like, what's up? I have a nine inch dick. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. This guy is now in this video the third time. I freaking can't. I blocked this guy and then he asked me to unblock him. So I did, but I like regret it. <laughs> he says, milky, milky, please can baby have some milk? Goo goo gaga sucks thumb. I have just lost faith in humanity. There is no hope at this point. I feel bad for people. Someone says, I love you. When can we meet up and have sex together? I looked at four of your pictures and literally felt like jacking off. Does that ever happen to you? Like, um, no, sir, it does not. I like how he was like, oh, like, when can we meet up and have sex together? Like, as if, like, that was, like, a possibility. Because if I'm just gonna, like, reply to his message and be like, Hey, yeah, like, are you free this weekend? Like, where do you live? Let me just hop on my plane right now and, like, get there. So we can hook up just because you liked my pictures and looked at four of them. Like, whoa, like, thank you. Like, I owe everything to you and I'm just gonna, like, hop on my plane right now and visit you. That's not how it works. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble and ruin your fantasy, but that's not how it works. Someone messaged me saying, Brilliant Julia, you will be a good mother to my twins. You only have to move to breathtaking Georgia. My mountainous hospital country is ready for dazzling beauty and sex symbol. Hi. Hospital. First of all... What? Like, is he trying to say, like, hospitable? My mountainous hospital... hospitable. I feel like that's what he was trying to say, but also, like, You'll be a good mother to my twins. Like, actually, I don't want to be a mother right now or to your twins. And I don't want to move to Georgia. So, um, 
All right, guys, so that is it for this week's video. If you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to give a big thumbs up and leave a comment below because I know that you guys liked the first one and I hope you liked the second one just as much or actually more. I hope you liked it more. So if you want to see a part three, definitely let me know and I will continue screenshotting everything. Um, <laughs> and yeah, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications. That way you are notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.